Sue Gray with Tulsa County OSU Extension Center. I'd like to talk to you today about growing vegetables. Vegetables are grown all over the state of Oklahoma, but they all require planning and a lot of effort on the part of Oklahoma farmers. Most vegetables start from seed, like this popcorn that I'm holding today. A lot of people don't realize when they pop a batch of corn that they're eating seeds when they do that. But these same seeds can be sown in the ground and grown into a full-size corn plant, the ears dried down, harvested, and made into popcorn. Many things have to start from seed. And if you look at these leafy greens right here, we have bok choy, and we have broccoli rab, we have different kinds of lettuce. All of this was started from seed several months ago to end up with a product, as you see here, as it appears in the grocery store. Someone had to sow the seed, provide a lot of water and at the right temperature and growing conditions to raise that romaine lettuce. Carrots are another vegetable that a lot of children like to eat, and it, of course, is grown below the ground. And we emphasize that to get carrots like this, or to end up in a package like this, we have to start from a very tiny seed and grow it for about 90 days before we can harvest carrots. And it has to be very loose soil in order to form a perfect carrot like this. And these are some that were sown from seed. And when they're harvested, they're harvested by a digging machine that digs them up, washes them, sorts them, and washes them again. And it all starts from a very tiny seed. We emphasize to a lot of children and teachers that not only do carrots grow underground, but potatoes do as well, and a lot of other vegetables. We have different colors of potatoes, and to start those, we start with what are called seed potatoes, just a little piece like this. We also have onions that are started below ground from little onion sets like these, or we might start onions from seed and have little bundles of onion transplants to raise a full-size onion. And many people don't know that each ring in an onion was formed by a leaf. So the more leaves you grow in an onion, the bigger your onions will be. And if you want green onions, these are grown from seed, just little green scallions. As we pan across the table here, we can look at some other things that grow below the ground, such as radishes. We have sweet potatoes and beets. Other greens that are very healthy for us are things that are in the brassica family, and that would include broccoli, napa cabbage, and regular purple and green cabbage. And many people don't realize when you eat a bunch of broccoli, you're actually eating a bouquet of flowers that hasn't opened yet. You're eating little broccoli flower buds, very healthy for you. Many people eat green beans and don't realize that they start life from a small seed as well. And when they grow up to a full-size bean plant that we harvest for green beans, this is the immature form of a pod that, were it left on the vine to dry, would mature into a dry bean that we can use for soups, as you can see in these packages here. This is a bunch of different kinds of beans, kidney beans, lima beans, lentils, and so on. We also emphasize to children that pinto beans are the base that's used to make refried beans that they enjoy in burritos and on tostadas. Members of the cucurbit family are vital in Oklahoma vegetable production. Cucumbers, big slicers like this, of course, are used in salads and uh, in for fresh use. But then smaller varieties, known as pickling cucumbers, are what go into jars of pickles. We like people to understand that the processed foods that we enjoy all start with raw ingredients that began from seed, and that includes salsa, and we ask children to name what's in salsa. And of course, that includes tomatoes, garlic, onions, and of course, chili peppers. And there are many different kinds of chili peppers, habanero, jalapeno, Anaheim, and the big poblano. And then of course, there are sweet peppers that are a different category, which come in many beautiful colors. Then last of all, the tomato most, the vegetable most people know best is the tomato. We talk about how tomatoes are grown both outdoors and in greenhouses, such as these that were just harvested, and the products that are made from tomatoes, including salsa, rotel, which is tomatoes and chilies, canned tomatoes, tomato soup, and so on, and of course, ketchup. That wraps it up for vegetables that are grown in Oklahoma. We encourage people to either grow their own vegetables or support the Buy Fresh, Buy Local campaign and visit your local farmer's market.